Sunday. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, good afternoon and welcome to Let's Talk About It with Muku on Muku TV. Muku TV is an online platform that aims to inspire, educate, and inform citizens run our global village. Today, we are here to talk about coronavirus that is best known as COVID-19 in Liberia. I am your presenter, Dagamun Dodo, along with five distinct personalities who will better introduce themselves. I think we can begin with you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dodo. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is student Josephus B. Keto, and I'm attending the United Christian Academy in Junior High School, and I'm part of the Brain Organization. I live uh, I live Bobo Swagger Island, opposite to you, Etobo Estate, Block B. Thank you. My name is Tulen Angelin Kinsel from the United Christian Academy of the Brains Organization. I live still in Tobo Estate. Still in Tobo Estate, Black Committee. Good afternoon. I'm student Manuel Chua, attending the United Christian Academy Elementary and Junior High School. I'm from the Brain Organization. I live steering the Tobo Estate Basada Rothfield Committee. Good afternoon. I'm Anosha Libby Dem, attending the United Christian Academy, chairman of the Brain Organization. Late Bobo Swagger as the Black Sea Committee. I'm a student Johnny M. Somai Jr., chairman of the Brain Organization, student of the United Christian Academy, Bobo Swagger Ireland, Black B. All right, thanks very much. So, we are here today with the five personalities to discuss about this monster killing virus commonly known as COVID-19 in Liberia and they have joined me so that we can talk about this COVID-19 on Moku TV. So, let me begin by asking these first questions. Do we actually believe that coronavirus is within Liberia? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Dodo. Yes, we do believe that they are uh, in the virus in Liberia because, uh, uh, because people are dying on a daily basis, the hospital has been occupied by sick people, and we do believe that COVID-19 is in Liberia. Okay, thank you very much. So, if we do believe that COVID-19 is in Liberia, what do we think is the cause for the widespread of the virus? Uh, some of the widespread of the virus, what are the main reasons? Basically, I can say is human behavior because we are not, um, because we are not following the health protocols. We are not going by the health measures that was being put into place. Where they say we should mask up, we should wash our hands frequently, we should avoid large gathering. We are not following the health protocols. So I do think. That is one of the main reasons that is spreading virus human behavior. So let me take you, Mr. Vani Sombai. So, Mr. Vani Sombai, what do you also think that is actually causing this virus to spread widely in Liberia on a daily basis? Um, I would like to mention the, the social distancing how to do the spread of the virus. And secondly, the awareness of the virus causing the flow of the virus because the virus community within the within Montserrado, out of Montserrado, many people are not being aware, aware of this virus and people are not being masked of it. So we are saying that the awareness aspect is one of the factors leading to the widespread of coronavirus, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. People are, I, I mean, yes, uh, yes, I mean, yes, we can say because people are not being aware of the coronavirus, people are not being teach about the virus. So I think that is one of the main reasons people are not following those measures. So, with these factors, we believe that government needs to put more mechanisms in place to create more awareness 
And even ourselves, we will have to put more mechanism in place to create more awareness. Now move to the next question. What mechanism can we put in place as young people, as community, as society, as Liberian, that will help control and eradicate this coronavirus all of Liberia? Yes, some of the mechanism that we are putting in place to protect our people, the Liberians, the community, our families from the spread of coronavirus that avoid large gatherings, max up, washing your hands frequently, and maintain at least six feet distance away from others. That's good. Yeah. Would you like to speak about it? And I shall them. Yes, I will also speak on the mechanism of spread of COVID-19. Avoiding or crowded places, the restaurant or bar, and even sleeping in the bed of the elbow. So, we talk about avoiding crowded places. And most, I think, every one of you here are students. How do you people sit in your classes? Uh, yes. Our school have put in some, I mean, our school have put in some mechanism that we have our Hands, um, I mean, we have our hand sanitizer on the campus, we have our mask up, we, and then we, uh, I mean, and then we keep six feet different from each other in the classroom. Like six feet, everyone is six feet in the classroom. Okay. So, have your community benefited from materials, from organization, from humanitarian, from the government in the fight against coronavirus? Not yet, sir. For the community, for everyone already in the community, is taking is taking the health protocol mentioned by the health workers. As for the school, the administration are putting in are putting measures in are uh, instructing students to mask up and washing. Of him frequently and keeping six feet distant from our bodies. So, like most of you are from different communities, so would you like to speak for your community? As it relates to your community, uh, Angela Sao, have your community received any materials such as hand washing buckets, such as hand sanitizer, masks? In the fight against COVID-19. Not yet. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as for me, as for my community, we are not yet getting any of those stuff. Even during the first phase of the COVID-19, people came in our community. They took that name. They went around. They said they were going to donate. They were going to bring things to help the people. We did not receive any of those things. So we did not receive any. Benefit as related to government donation to its citizens. All right. So, what effort have been made in creating awareness for this COVID nineteen by young people, by community, and by their brains? What effort have been made in creating awareness? Yeah. Uh, basically, the brain have. Uh, I mean, the brain have scheduled a workshop that we did it already. We went around, we talked to people in the community, we told them that this, uh, I mean, this virus is real. We post on our official Facebook page. We're telling people to mask up. This COVID 19 is real. We went, we talked to people, we encouraged our friends. Even in the school, we went in drug classes. We talked to the children about COVID 19. We tell them how dead it is. And then we made them understand that COVID 19 is real. So that is one of the awareness that the brain has carried on so far. So, so with the awareness made, have the was the brain able to at least distribute nose masks, hand sanitizer, chlora? Was the brain organization able to do such? Not yet, sir. We are actually planning to invite some humanitarians 
some big people in the community that will be God will help us because we are 